to today's video. I haven't even brushed my hair yet. Hey, ours. Oh my goodness, Penny Pickle. What happened? Well, I know what I'm doing today. I know what we're doing today. I'm not gonna lie, I feel sad today. It's just a sad day. It's a sad day. Ugh. Anyway, I had this bag of treats that I was gonna take for Storm at the other barn, and then I realized he does not like peppermint. Yeah, like, horses be so picky. Anyway, thank you guys so much for your kind comments. Wait. <laughs> yeah, still feeling sad. But today is gonna be a good day. A good day, Penny Pickle, because you're getting brushed. Tubby, you got brain everywhere. So today I need to go get groceries. You guys want to go to Walmart? Yes. Want to go to? I have to get groceries. Do you want to go to Walmart? Yeah. What right. kind of answer is that? They have tissues there. <laughs> what kind of question is that? So it's true, Sophie's just saying that we both jumped out of bed today and didn't even do anything. We just threw on clothes. And the reason is, is that Sam does <laughs> chores so much. And he's always down here at the crack of dawn. He like jumps out of bed, his alarm goes off, and I still be laying in bed. I tried to sleep through my alarm, but I keep waking me. <laughs> I know. I heard your alarm so go I off. I turned it off. Yeah. And so I checked the time, it only went off for one minute. No, it felt like an hour. Yeah, so anyways, today is freezing cold out. Let's check the temperature. Yeah, Gabby always sleeps through her alarm. alarm. It is 60 degrees in here, 60. Holy heck, that's like not even a summer day. 60 degrees outside. I love it. Sophie loves it. Do you no like the cold? Flies, so we don't have to put no on. flies. Oh, we really don't have to put climax on? No, it's windy. Oh, all right, well that's, that's good. Anyways, today, it's gonna well it's gonna be kind of a chill day except for we have lessons with brandon i don't know like in the summer he's like more busy than normal but gabby has trillium this this weekend like on sunday she has trillium so um we have a lesson tonight yeah there's no chill day what the heck am i talking about i have to go get groceries i'm gonna try and cut the grass while it's cool out and then we have lessons so that's a chill day on the oh, day by day farm finnegan yeah maybe brandon will ride finnegan he needs to yeah I'm gonna get rid of Put the snaffle. Oh, go get your other halter. Do you have your other halter here at Why the barn? Because Fiona wants you to put the snaffle on one bridle and the. Well, why do I need another halter? Bridle. You know what I'm talking about. Everybody no, knows. Don't. Okay, go get your bridle. We're gonna put it in the car. Well, I can't carry it around. Oh, just give it to me. I'll put it in the car. <laughs> Gracie's like, leave my hair alone. Anytime it rains, you can be sure that my girl will be looking like this. Even Storm wasn't dirty yesterday. Okay. Well, wait until I brush my girl. I'm just giving her a fast brush. She doesn't like to go outside all dirty. Look at that bum. Sam put her in last night. If I was down here, I would have brushed her last night. Instead of having to sleep a whole night with all that dirt on you. What the heck am I supposed to do with this, Penny? It's like you got gum in your hair. What the heck? She's like, just let me go outside. She's such a good girl though. She loves people touching her hair. Penny has lots of patience. She's such a patient horse. Ooh, she's like me. And I never used to have patience, but I learned patience. I taught them to myself. And it took a lot of work. <laughs> and it took a lot of God to help me get them, but I'm really patient now. Unless I'm overtired and then I'm a maniac. Then I'm a maniac. Look how cute this piece is. Look how cute she is. So we saw, look, she's looking a little older too. She's getting a little more gray. So we saw uh, Cricket, who is uh, the little mini at the farm where Storm is. Cricket's shorter than mine. No, she's not. Yeah, she is. And Can she, I have to tap her up? No, I'm just putting down. Cricket, I have to sit. Oh, well, anyways, Cricket yeah, got really know. old. Her face is all gray. All right, goodbye, ponies. Have a wonderful day. Gracie, go! Go, Gracie, go! Uh-oh. Molly! Uh-oh. <laughs> you get kicked? Yes, your dog will get kicked because your dog has no clue. Molly! She still trots away after. She's still mad. I got a little white pumpkin. It's my favorite. In the garden, I have, like, ornamental pumpkins and real pumpkins. And that's, um, and it's... 
And when you plant those kind of plants, it's always a mystery of what you got, what you get. And it's so fun, you guys. Like, that's a miracle. And also, this zucchini is getting huge, but it's not getting green. It's not getting like a darker green, so I don't know when to pick that sucker. And there's another white pumpkin. Right, a quiet, clean arena. Quiet, clean barn. No kids around. They all went up to eat and get ready because we're gonna go shopping. I'm gonna go up and eat and get ready to judge my hair. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. The saddest thing happened. The saddest thing. I love that full tube. Somebody sent us that. Yeah. Long ago, somebody sent us their whole Schleich collection and we love it. I lost them all. She's somewhere in my room. Somewhere in your room. But it's true. Something really sad happened. I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm going shopping. I'm going out to do like we have Trillium. We have a Gabby show this weekend. We have lessons tonight. And I have to get some stuff and you get prepared. Have but what? Well, this is Wi Fi. All right, so if he's gonna come, the sad thing was that nobody wanted to come with me and I'm at that stage again in my life where nobody wants to come. Come on, you're not coming. Come on, Molly, bed. Come on. Come on, Daisy. Come on, silly girl, come on, yeah. Oh, I missed that. Sophie had her bed, Molly. Sophie had her arms out and Daisy ran right to her and they just loved each other. But it's true, you guys. Like, I've already done this one time where my boys grew up and out of me and didn't hang out with me anymore. I already have done it and now suddenly I'm doing it again with the girls. This is the first time Sophie said she wasn't gonna come. Gabby never wants to come and I know it's their age. But yeah, suddenly, suddenly I have time to myself and it's shocking and hard. I am not an empty nest kind of girl. So many companies make elastics now and the, they don't even work. You always have to check and make sure elastics work. These are the stretchy kind of elastics. Yeah, I always wanted to make like a bun and use one of these things because they're so fun. Mm. But I don't know, I think it'll be too out of my realm of experience. I'm not into the beauty scene. Beauty is not my thing. I just do the quickest thing that I can do and I've been like that my whole life, kind of like Gabby. Have you guys noticed that at your stores because of COVID there's not much stuff? Like a lot of, cover a lot of shelves are bare now. So, Sophie found Cheetos mac and cheese. Like, that's weird. That's weird. Sophie gave them sparkling water and they don't like it. They can smell it. Even Macy's got, Macy just put her nose right to it and she's like, ew, gross. I want this girl to try it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I forgot she's deaf. <laughs> Didn't know I was coming for her bum. Go, Ruby, go. <laughs> Even you're smart. I know you've heard it all before But you are the love of my life I knew when you came through the door That you are the love of my life
not given you guys an update on Penny Pickle in a long time. If you guys are new and you don't know about Penny, I bought her for myself. She's a Tennessee walking horse. I bought her in October, the end of October. And now I've had her for nine, nine months. I've had her for nine months. Could have had a baby in the amount of time that I've had Penny. And Penny had some stuff wrong with her and I bought her. First of all, she was angry. She was the angriest horse, man. You just walk near her and her ears would be flat back. Show her the saddle and her ears would be flat back. Look how cute her hair is. But anyway, uh, she has changed in a lot of ways. I'm gonna give you guys a little update on how she's changed. She's not angry anymore. When I first brought her home, she hated the other horses and now she's best friends with, with our mini. She loves her and she's happy. She's probably the happiest horse that we have, I think, like her personality and how licky she is. She's just a really, really happy horse and when I first bought her, I didn't think she would be a happy horse and I can't believe the change in her. And I don't think that all horses have a happy disposition, but I think that any horse that isn't feeling happy will have a bad disposition. And she had a bad disposition and she doesn't now. Now she's beautiful and loving and sweet and she loves me, she comes to me, she understands me. I've done a lot of work with her on the ground and she, I, I can tell she understands me. I'm not riding her right now because she has a super minor suspensory injury that our vet thought was old and wasn't healed properly and so I'm not riding her, I'm letting it her sit and let it heal and then we're gonna do some strengthening exercises soon, like in the next month probably, and get her built back up uh, on the ground, strengthened so that she can, so I can start riding her in the fall. I'm gonna ride her in the fall. So also when I bought Penny, she had these weird eyelids and our vet told me that she was missing parts of her eyelid and I always wondered if she had like turned in eyelids because her eyes were like really gooey and really gross and I tried a million different things, a chiropractor, the vet like three times to figure out her eyes and then suddenly over, oh she just scared herself with her tail and then suddenly over the course of the summer her eyelids had filled back in and so I don't know if you can see but this eye there's just a tiny piece missing right here and then the rest of her eyelid is good. And then over here on this eyelid it's perfect, except for the tiniest little piece. But he examined her eyes and he said it's definitely not turned in eyes, but eyelids, but I think it is. It has to be, because eyelids don't grow back. Do they grow back? Anyway, so her eyes are doing so much better. Shh, everything about her is so much better. So also when I bought her, she had, I'm not gonna show you, but she had a really, awful bum like back here was dirty all the time and she went into heat soon after I got her and I'll show you and the back of her legs here were you can kind of see right there there's a little bit of dirt there but the back of her legs all down here were all sculled all the time because she had like this free fecal water it's when they have like some of their poop is diarrhea and it burns her and it would just go down her all the time she'd be always a mess back here so I did a lot of research on it and tried to try to like gave her probiotics and tried all these things to try and fix it and looked up all these old wives tales and nothing worked and so I asked my vet about it and he said to give her antibiotics and I said well I've heard that antibiotics don't work blah 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 and he said well we'll try it and if it doesn't work then we'll try something else and we tried it and it worked I was so happy and she hasn't had any other episodes of it and she had it for months before I gave her the antibiotics and then I asked him like what happens if it comes back because sometimes it can be seasonable, seasonal too, like it'll come back more in the winter. And he said, hey, if it comes back, we'll give her more antibiotics. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. We know it works. I'm good with that. And I think like, you know, her eyes being better and her, and her skin not being sculled and her just feeling better in general has also contributed to her happiness and, the, and how she doesn't pin her ears anymore and she's just like a friendly, loving girl. Oh, another thing that she did when I first got her, she's scared of whips, she's scared of brooms, she's scared of like a lot of things and she's not scared here anymore, she's really good. Although I was telling some people that the other day I was in my room getting dressed and I looked out the window because I heard Penny making a lot of noise in the field and Sam was laughing. 
when a Mennonite cart was driving by and she saw the horse, and I think she's afraid of horses. Okay. I think she's afraid of horses, to be honest. Like, she has some other issues where if horses come up behind her, she gets petrified. And so anyway, she was out there, she saw this horse go by and she was so scared. And she was at the back of the field and she ran to Sam. And she was like, save me, Sam. And she was, she's a very vocal horse. She talks and talks and talks. And it was just really cute that she understood that Sam was, you know, the person that was there that was gonna save her. And if Sam comes and gives her supper and it's late, oh man, she will tell you off. She sees him down here and she's done it to me too. And she, if we're late, she'll be, she just starts telling us like, you are late and I wanted my supper a long time ago. And I love that about her. I love that she feels free enough to share her soul with us and her heart with us and complain to us and ask us to save her. Like that to me is the, big, the biggest success. It was a bird, Penny Pickle. So I'm gonna show you one thing that she's learned. We haven't done this in a long time, so I don't know how good she'll be. But, come here, come on up. For the most part, uh-oh, we haven't done it for a while, but normally she's been really good about letting me sweep around her, getting used to the broom. Yeah, good girl, Pen. Would you? Everything is easy when you come around. Hold on now. Hold on now. I don't know if you can see that, but I was sweeping her feet, and she net like she used to have the biggest fear ever about brooms and about anything going near her, like that had any anything like that going near her. And now I can brush her entire feet with the broom and she's doing much better. She's much more, she's much more happy. And I can like touch almost every part of her body. She's getting tired of it now. And I can kiss her. Hi, let me kiss you. Yeah, she kissed me back. It's funny, because if I kiss her a bunch of times in a row on the nose, then when I do it the third time, she'll be like, oh, and she'll kiss me back. But anyway, I think that is it. That is the ending of my update on Penny Pickles. The only thing that's new with Penny is that her eyelids grew back, or else they turned in or out. And the other thing is that I did not know that they had chestnuts down here. And hers got really long, and Sophie was showing me, and so I peeled them off. But then she has her chestnuts there, and I'm not good at that, and I don't like it. I don't enjoy peeling their chestnuts, and so Gabby used to do it when she was younger. She used to love it. Now she's a teenager and only loves herself. No, just joking. That was a joke, you guys. <laughs> it's a joke. But anyways, that's it. That is my update on Penny Pickle. I hope a lot of you guys could see the difference in her, the change in her. She loves me, and I can tell she loves me. And I love her, and she's amazing, and I'm so glad I bought her. So grateful. Our, our ponies love her. Sophie's learning to love her. But she's definitely my horse. Don't you know that you're beautiful?